What's up YouTube? Peace Hotep the Black Man is God. Today I'm making a video about the Hurt Business versus Roman Reigns and the Usos. Okay, let's start with the, the Hurt Business. You got as the the leader or slash manager of the Hurt Business MVP. Now he's the tag team champion and the U.S. champion and jiu-jitsu champion. This guy is, you know, he's a highly decorated individual. But he's also really, like, kind of retired, semi, still wrestling. But he's more like the manager of the group. And then you got the, the, the main leader. And I would kind of compare this group to Evolution. So, like, in... Uh, in the role of Triple H, you got Bobby Lashley. And in the role of Randy Orton, you got Cedric and Alexander. And I guess uh, Shelter Benjamin would be Batista, right? So it's like that's that's the dynamic I see that group. But let's let's get into what this 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 uh video is really about and that is them versus the her business versus Roman Reigns and the Usos and and it's basically kind of the same dynamic the manager the leader well it's not the leader but kind of the, the mouthpiece of the group Paul Heyman and then you got like who would be Triple H he's not Triple H but it's more of like this is it's, it's not like evolution this is more like these guys are all related so this is like a different thing they i think they're gonna need a, some kind of difference you can't just keep saying roman reigns and the usos like the, the her business has like a name like evolution had a name so i think this stable is gonna have to have some kind of name the family whatever it is he's the head of the table that's the name of the the, the stable or whatever the the table whatever you want to call it but you got Roman Reigns and the Usos as, you know, uh, uh, as a little stable. I think this could make make good money, but you can't really have a bad guy versus bad guy um, kind of fight. It has to be one is the underdog and one is the like the bad guy, and one is the good guy, one is the bad guy. You got to kind of have clear cut. Who's who's who do you go in there supposed to who are you supposed to like? And right now, Roman Reigns is just a better bad guy. And I think what they should do with the her business is make turn them face. And this is how you could do it. You can since they already called the hurt business and you had you remember the APA, they used to like charge people money to to hurt people or for, for protection act like protection agency so they can kind of use that as a way to turn face like because i remember the acolytes the apa that was like a a popular thing so if you make it like that like all right we're bullies for hire and you know what i'm saying like and and just play up on the on the uh like like that kind of aspect of it and and kind of make them the baby face of the situation. I think that's that'll be a good clash. Or even if you just want to just have it like there is no clear cut baby faces. Just have it as I just I just want to see this match. I just want to see it happen. And I think that you would have to have Bob in this for this to happen, Bobby Lashley has to grab that belt from Drew McIntyre. He has to be the WWE champion. And I want to see the Usos with the tag team champion. And I want to see Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander with the uh, with the with the tag team and even maybe MVP with the twenty four seven champion, who knows? But just just those two staples against each other, I would like to see that. And the, and the only way that could, that would really make it legitimate is that Bobby Lashley has to get that world. He can't just have the U.S. belt. The U.S. belt is prestigious, and I give it respect. But he has to have that world belt for this clash to be like epic as epic as i am imagining it 
So, yeah, I think that needs to happen somehow. Maybe he needs to relinquish that belt that he has to um, Keith Lee. Keith Lee should probably find a way to get that belt or somebody else. But he needs to get that world belt for this to be, like, the main event that I see it as. Um, and then maybe after that, then it, then it'll be a legitimate thing for Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. After this, if he can, with the Hurt Business, conquer Roman Reigns and the Usos, I think him versus Brock Lesnar would be the next conclusion. And it would probably, in my mind, this is my fantasy book, and that would be the pinnacle of the Hurt Business. Finally defeating Brock Lesnar some and but it has to be somehow you have to give Brock Lesnar the belt somehow. I don't know. But you let me know what you think in the comments below. Peace out, Tep the Black Man is God now.